Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. So today we are doing a spring thrift with me and thrift haul, and oh my goodness, you guys, I'm filming this part after I went thrifting, so I know everything that I got, and oh my gosh, I am in love with everything that I picked up. I got so many goodies. So on this trip, I was looking for like florals, a little bit more color to try to incorporate into my wardrobe because... I love my neutrals and I'm trying to break out of that and I'm hoping with my spring wardrobe we can kind of do that. And I just kind of wanted some more like lighter pieces since we are kind of moving into the warm months. I have a lot of sweaters so I'm trying to break out of that and just pick up some like lighter pieces like this and stuff. So yeah. But anyways, let's go ahead and do some thrifting. Okay, so first stop was Value Village and I decided to head straight for the shoes. I was so sad about these shoes, you guys. They weren't my size, but they might just be the most stunning pair of shoes I've ever seen in my life. And same with these. They weren't my size. They were marked as a six and a half, but they were actually eight. These were really cute, but they were literally falling apart, so had to put them back. Same with these, and these were also like insanely stained as well, but really sad because they were super cute. These look so comfy, and I was kind of tempted to get them, but not for that price sadly i wasn't sure if i liked these or not to be honest i liked the style of them i just wasn't sure about the color then i decided to look at the boots these red ones were insane you guys like so cool and surprisingly they weren't a bad price either then i saw these north face boots these were i think they were 28.49 and they seemed like they were in pretty good condition I love the color of these Converse. I just thought the price was a little bit steep. And honestly, I prefer high tops over these ones. Then I went to the clothing and I found this Free People top. I just thought it was a little bit pricey for the condition that it was in. It was a little bit stained and you could tell it had a lot of wear on it. Then I found this tank top. It's from Wilfred. It is $6.49. Honestly, I have no idea what the print or pattern is on that. I'm not even really sure if I like it. And then I found another Wilfred tank top. This one's just a basic gray one, again for $6.49. This is not my personal style, but I know somebody out there is going to go crazy for this purse. It is really cute. I love the pink on it. And then this one is so adorable too. I'm kind of sad that I didn't actually pick this one up to be honest, because it's really, really pretty. This was cool. I have no idea where I'd actually wear this or what I'd actually put in this purse, but I thought it was kind of cool. Okay, and then I saw this like, I think this is an old Victoria's Secret bag. Look at the price of this. That is insane to me. <laughs> this was new with tags. You can see the original tag there. Let me know, is this brand sold at Walmart? Because I feel like it is. Okay, then I found this gorgeous blanket this was three dollars you guys had to add it to my cart and i had this pillow but i ended up putting this back it was such good quality but i just thought the price was a little bit steep and it did look a little bit dingy as well this was so pretty but i could not get over the price of this like 15 dollars. what this super cute little woven planter or basket so adorable okay i'm a sucker for like anything with fruit on it i don't know why i just think it's so cute and this set was honestly stunning. It just gave me like the perfect cottage core vibe. And I thought this was kind of cute too, this little sugar canister. Okay, I know this is not spring, but I love looking at the seasonal stuff. These candles were actually adorable. And then this little Halloween pumpkin um, lantern thing, super cute. Okay, now we're at the next stop, which is Salvation Army. And I'm just looking through the long sleeves. I really want some more like long sleeve tops for spring, not necessarily like a thick sweater, just, you know, something thin and comfortable, but honestly, wasn't finding too much here. I decided to take a double take at this one. I just wasn't a big fan of the sleeves. Then I found this Babaton top. This actually looked like it was in perfect condition. It looked like it was brand new, honestly. And then I feel like the same person had to donate this because this was brand new with tags, Babaton. But you guys know I have a hatred for V-necks, so had to put it back. <laughs> this super cute gray top, I ended up getting this. It had some damage right there, but I just ended up cutting that off and it was perfectly fine. I found this Levi's top. I love the color of this. I just wasn't a big fan of the fit. It was very boxy, but the material seemed amazing. And this super pretty pink Tommy Hilfiger top. I feel like every time I go thrifting, I see this exact same shirt. Okay, then I saw these Uggs. I've never seen this style of Uggs before. They were, let me see the price here. They were... 20 bucks but honestly i wasn't a big fan of the style but i just thought i'd show it because i've never seen that before and then this pie plate was so adorable oh my gosh on honestly i'd buy every single pie plate if i could um and these birdhouses were really pretty too i love birdhouses this was the heaviest thing ever i wish you could tell on camera how heavy this was it was insane 
Okay, then I went to literally the only thrift store in my area that actually has changing rooms still. And I tried on two dresses. This blue one here, honestly, so gorgeous. And then this floral one. I wasn't too sure about this one at first because it does fit me a little bit big. Like, it's a little bit loose. But I ended up getting it because it's so comfortable and I feel like it's just perfect for spring. And then I found this super cute Tommy bag here. And then I also found a bag from the brand The Sack. I actually owned one of these. I thrifted it, but definitely not for that price. I thrifted mine for, I think, like $6. And then look at this super cute little cookie jar, you guys. And these lamps. Oh, my gosh. I have a weird obsession lately, you guys, with lamps. I swear. <laughs> and this one was so cute. You really can't tell on camera, but it was the tiniest thing ever. Just so adorable. All right, so haul time. As always, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the clothing. So the first piece I picked up, I'm in love with this. It definitely screams spring. And it's this gorgeous blue floral top. And as you guys can see, it is like a cow neck at the front there. But this is just so stunning. I can't get over the colors. Like, look at that up close. How pretty is that? And I love the material on this. It's amazing. It's nice and light, super stretchy. So the brand name on this is Suzy Sheer. And I paid about $6 for this. I think it was actually $6.49 which I think is a little bit pricier for just a tank top, but I don't know, I just, I really could not pass this up. I couldn't leave it behind, so yeah, I had to get that. I found this gorgeous cardigan. Look at this. This just screams springtime to me. Like, look at it up close. It's so pretty, and I love this color. And it does have buttons, so you can go ahead and completely wear it buttoned up, but I think I'll be definitely wearing it open. I feel like that's more my style, but I just thought this was absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, the color... I can't get over it. And this was only $4.99, which I thought was an amazing price. Um, I don't think, oh, so the tag is cut off, so I have no idea what the actual brand name is or where it actually came from, but yeah, I am obsessed. And then I found this, and it may just look like a basic gray tank top, which it is, but it does have this on the back right here. So it's from Calvin Klein. And I just thought that little detail was super cute. I thought it was actually inside out at first, but that's just how it goes. But I just love how basic and simple this is. And I feel like you really just can't have enough pieces like this. And you can tell this is really nice quality. It feels really good. And this was only like $1.99. So I thought that was a really good deal. So I don't know if anybody else has been watching the show, Daisy Jones and the Six. But I have, I love it, and I've kind of made it my personality trait. So I saw this piece right here, and it just really reminded me of the show. It has this gorgeous little detail at the sleeves there. Let me show you guys up close so you can actually see. Like, look how cute that is. And yeah, I don't know, I just feel like this is something one of them would wear, but I love this. Again, it is a button-up, so you can wear it open, you can wear it completely buttoned up. It's from the brand Jessica. This is definitely not, like, real suede, but I gotta say, you guys, this feels so soft and comfy. And I feel like this is a piece that you can style with a lot of different things. You could definitely wear it by itself, just as a shirt, or you could also, like, layer it with something as well. So, yeah, I can't wait to style this piece and... I love this. And the price, I keep almost forgetting, I have it here on my phone. Um, it was discount day that day, so I think I paid about five or six dollars for this shirt. So I have one more shirt and then I have two dresses to show you guys, so I'm just gonna get the top out of the way first here. So I picked up another tank top and I actually think this is a kid's top, but it was in the women's section, so I mean it fits me, so that's all that matters I guess, but I just thought this was so cute. It actually does have little black polka dots on it and the super cute trim at the top there. Again, pretty simple and basic, but I I just think it's so adorable and apparently I was really into gray tank tops this trip I guess and again like the Calvin Klein tank top this one was $1.99. Okay the dresses I am the most excited for. I am so happy about these. I'm in love. I've been really trying to find dresses when I thrift lately and it just I don't know lately it just hasn't been happening for me like I'll find a cute dress but it's not my size or you know there's just too much damage or staining on them but I finally was able to find a couple of dresses and I'm so happy so this is the first dress here and I think this one is my favorite so this is what it looks like it's a really nice deep dark blue and it is a maxi dress it has a slit at both the sides there but this is so pretty on you guys like I cannot get over this and the brand name is Mannequin. This looks like a very, very old tag, so I'm not sure if it's vintage or not, but I've never heard of that brand. And I don't know if you guys could tell from far away, but it does have little flowers on it. It's so pretty. I kind of have an outfit in mind for this piece already. I feel like this would be really nice with a leather jacket and maybe like some black cowboy boots. I just, I don't know, I think that'd be super cute. But yeah, I'm obsessed with this piece. I'm so glad I picked it up. For some reason in the store, I was kind of debating it. I was able to actually try both these dresses on because 
it was at a thrift store. One of the only thrift stores around that actually had changing rooms, which I could go on a whole rant about the changing room thing, but I won't. But can we bring the change rooms back, please? Like, come on. And this was only $5.97. Right, and the last dress that I picked up right here, this beautiful floral one. It is a longer dress, but it's not as long as the blue one. And it does have kind of like this, um, why can I not think of what, what is this called? Why am I blanking? Oh my gosh. I can't think of it. Slant. Let's just call it a slant for right now, but you know what I mean. <laughs> but anyways, I love the colors on this dress. This pink is so pretty with the black. I'll show you guys up close so you can actually really see there. Like that is gorgeous. And then it does have a little tie at the back there so you can make it like a little bit tighter on you. This one does fit me like a little big. Like it fits me, but it's just not super fitted to my body. You know what I mean? But what I was thinking is days when I want it to be a little bit more fitted, I'm going to go ahead and like pop a chain belt around the waist. And then on days obviously where I want it to be more loose I'll just wear it like this but it's so comfortable you guys and I know I'm gonna absolutely love this when the weather starts getting really warm because honestly when it's super hot out I do not want to be wearing a form-fitting dress so I know this is gonna be absolutely perfect and the brand name is let me find it here it oh it's also by the brand Jessica and again the tag looks super super old on that there you go and again like the other dress this one was $5.97 all right so that was everything for clothing but now we're gonna move on to decor because I was also on the hunt for some nice spring home decor and I definitely found some starting with this gorgeous blanket definitely gonna be very hard to show but it is huge and then it has these super cute little tassels there like oh, I'm obsessed with this this was only three dollars like I can't get over that. It definitely has to be handmade this just feels it but it's not the type of blanket that I would necessarily like snuggle up with because it's kind of it's not that, like that super itchy scratchy material but it's not also super soft. What I'm planning to do with this and I've been looking for a blanket for this for the longest time I'm gonna be draping this over my chair in my bedroom and I don't know I just feel like it gives it a nice cozy vibe and the colors like the pink and the ivory like you just can't get any better than that and for three dollars that's basically a steal like I said this thing is massive. The next thing I picked up I just think is the cutest thing in the world and it's this tiny little decorative pillow and it kind of has this like lace almost like doily looking trim. I just think it's so freaking cute like it's seriously so adorable and again I'm thinking of putting this on my chair with the blanket and obviously if it doesn't look good on the chair I'll just use it as a little decor pillow on my bed but I couldn't pass this up I just thought it was the cutest thing ever it really gives me like strong cottage core cozy vibes and that's kind of what I'm going for for spring is that like just super cozy cottage vibe and I just I love this so this was only $3.97 and surprisingly for being white at the thrift store it had no stains on it it's in perfect condition I did already go ahead and wash everything but yeah it's so perfect and I can't wait to use it. Speaking of cottage vibes, I've been on the hunt for a really pretty wax warmer, I think is what they're called. Um, and I've been really picky with what I want. <laughs> like I just, I had an image in my mind and I just didn't want something basic. So I found this and it's a wax warmer, look at that. So it actually still has like the instructions inside there, but this is where you put the tea light. And obviously this is where your wax melt goes up there. But I just thought it was so adorable. That's what it looks like up close there. It has the lavender. And what I like about it too, is you could have it facing this way, or you could have it facing this way, you know what I mean? And like I said, does this not give off like the most coziest cottage vibes ever? I cannot wait to put a little wax melt in there and actually try it out. And let me see the price here. So I actually got a discount off this one as well. So I think I ended up paying about four or five dollars for this. So I always love looking in the baking dish aisle or like where the pie plates are and stuff like that because you can find a lot of great items there and a lot of good gems. And I found this bad boy right here. Look at this. This is actually Corningware. It was only $5, so whoever priced this could not have known how expensive these go for. And it's in perfect condition, you guys. It's super heavy. So yeah, it's just a little baking dish with the lid. And it says on the back here, this is made in Thailand. It's microwave and oven safe, but it's not stovetop or broiler safe. I'm so happy about this find. I love when you find like good, expensive brand names in good condition for a cheap price like that at thrift stores. Because most of the time when they do see a brand name, the price is super, super high, so love finding good ones like that and last but not least i just went ahead and picked up a new book and unlike the books in my last thrift video this one is actually to read and not just for decor so i love thrillers and horror books it's just my personal favorite so this one is by ruth ware and it's called in a dark dark wood this is what it looks like right 
there. And just judging by the write-up on the back of the book, it does seem like it's gonna be super interesting. But yeah, I only paid $2.97 for this, so I thought that was a great deal. And I can't wait to start reading this tonight. All right, you guys, so that was everything in my thrift haul. Like I said, so many goodies this trip. Got a lot of great spring finds, and I'm super happy. As always, in the comments below, let me know which item was your favorite, whether that be in the haul or the thrift with me. And also let me know if there's anything for the springtime that you're looking to thrift. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big like and subscribe, because I would really appreciate that. Also, if you want to go ahead and keep up with me inside of YouTube, I do have TikTok and Instagram, and I'll go ahead and link those down below. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.